Hi again, everybody. Welcome into Gamecock Insider. I'm Derek Scott. We're at Founders Park, and we've got baseball to get into on today's show. That much is for sure. We'll visit with Luke Berryhill, one of the newer members of this Carolina baseball team, the Iron Man behind the plate, who also has some musical tastes that we will share with you. Also on the program, a look back at Monday night's Gamecock Gala, the annual event where all of the student athletes get dressed up and celebrate the year that was. And also a former Gamecock great, Mickey Barber had her jersey retired. We'll look back at her tremendous career on the track for South Carolina. But as we get things started, we're headed up to Charlotte, where South Carolina has struggled over the years to come up with success on the diamond. That was not the case this year. The Gamecocks and the Tar Heels of UNC. Let's take a look at the highlights from another exciting night at BB&T Ballpark. Swing and a miss, he got him. And you can put Spurs on this one. It's a Charlotte sweep for the Gamecocks. A win over North Carolina State and now a victory over the 17th ranked Tar Heels in the span of two weeks. South Carolina gets maybe one of its best pitching performances of the season as they harness the Tar Heel batting order holding UNC to only four base hits and defeat the Tar Heels by a final of five to two. So South Carolina improves to four and one against the ACC in this 2019 season and all of those victories against ranked national squads. When we come back more baseball coverage as we'll sit down with Luke Berryhill and talk to the Carolina catcher. Stay with us. Gamecock Insider is brought to you by Crescent Construction the official roofer of the Gamecocks, and by Wild Wing Cafe, where great food rocks. Gamecock Insider is a production of Gamecock Sports Marketing. We had a large storm, and our home was hit pretty bad. The next day, a friend of ours recommended Crescent Construction. They came out and replaced our entire roof, and we were very pleased with the work they did. Call Crescent Construction's professional staff to do a detailed roof inspection at your home today. Absolutely free. I've already referred Crescent Construction to a friend of mine. Call Crescent Construction, South Carolina's number one roofer and the official roofer of the Carolina Gamecocks. First one at the job site. Last one to leave. Day in, day out for the last 42 years straight. Ford F-Series, the model employee. Now get 0% financing for 72 months on a new 2019 F-150, only at your Carolina Ford dealer. During this year's certified South Carolina grown Palmetto Series, we're promoting Fresh on the Menu, a program that connects South Carolina farmers with area restaurants to bring you meals made with fresh locally grown ingredients. Or try creating your own Fresh on the Menu meals at home. So download the Fresh on the Menu app today and follow your team at palmettoseries.com. It's a matter of taste. And go Gamecocks! This is it. This is the moment when legacies are made and good becomes glorious. But legacies aren't just granted on game day. You can make them anytime. Will it be today or someday? The glory lies in your choice. This is the moment. What will your legacy be? You build legacies, we protect them. Hey Gamecock fans, want free baseball tickets? You heard us, free baseball tickets. Right now, only at Bilo, you can get two tickets to a Gamecock baseball game when you spend just $40 in store. But you better be quick, baseball fans. Bilo has limited tickets up for grabs. So what are you waiting for? Go grab your groceries and your free Gamecock tickets today. Bilo is the premier grocery partner of the Gamecocks. 
Yeah, I got big on social graces. Think I slip on down to the oasis. So I got friends in low places. Welcome back to Gamecock Insider, everybody. Luke Berryhill is a first-year Gamecock baseball player, but boy, he has become a regular in the truest of senses, an Iron Man, if you will. Luke, you are playing basically every inning. I think as we head into this weekend, you've made 24 consecutive starts behind the plate. Did you envision coming in here and knowing that you'd have the uh, the equipment on that often? Uh, no, not not by any chance. Um, I, I thought I'd be splitting time with, uh, with Chris Cullen, but uh, obviously he's uh, had to move to first base. Um, but you know, I've I've just taken the opportunity and ran with it. I love doing it. Well, you've certainly taken to this role, and you've had a great season so far. Looking at uh, numbers, have you in the top five in the league? I think in doubles as well as in base runners thrown out. So, great uh, variety of skill set. Uh, how's this season unfolded for you? Um, you know, I've always been a slow starter with the bat, um, and just about every season. But uh, my first month here, um, I've really shown out, um, done better than I thought I would, and so um, that's been a real surprise, real good surprise. Um, and catching wise, you know, I've gotten better since this, the season started. Um, I've gotten more comfortable back, comfortable back there, and uh, playing at this high level. And so, you know, it's, I'm, I'm enjoying it. What, what people may have known about you or found out about you is uh, you're you're not just a one-trick pony. You're a guy who has uh, interests in the musical side of things and skills in the musical side of things as well. Uh, earlier this season, you had the opportunity, I guess, in basketball season, to to show those skills off on the court. Yep. What was that like? Oh, that was surreal. Um, that was by far the most people I've ever sang in front of. Um, I think it was like 15,000 or something. That was that was a crazy feeling. Um, and I love that song I sang, Friends of Low Places. So it was it was cool to hear everybody like cheering for me after it was over. So it was good kid. You've talked about the fact that uh, sometimes when you hear the, the music on the PA system, you're singing along behind the plate. Yeah. Umpires don't always go for that? Yeah, you know, they, uh, they, they got to tell me to stop sometimes because it's distracting <laughs> for their job. But um, they always tell me it's good, so um, yeah, I just if it's a good song, I'll, I'll just keep it going until someone tells me to stop. <laughs> what got you into that? Yeah, it's it's really my dad. Um, growing up, uh, he's always had bands and stuff, um, playing country music and like southern rock and stuff. So uh, that really just caught my eye when I was younger. And um, as I got older, I just started exploring it more. Athletes always want to be musicians. Musicians always want to be athletes. If you're going to be a pro, what do you want to do? Oh shoot, uh, probably baseball. Um, I put way too much time into this uh, to just give it up for you know something that I just started so um, and I love baseball with all my heart so I'm gonna do this as long as I can. Well you guys had victories over NC State and now you've got one over North Carolina having a lot of fun up in Charlotte. Oh yeah yeah we've uh, the past couple of years apparently we've been uh, a little unlucky in that park but you know, this year we've really turned it around. Well, Gamecock fans love you. They certainly enjoyed your first year in Garnet and Black and looking forward to more as this season really ramps up and we head to the month of May. All right. That's Luke Berryhill, folks, and we'll be back with more of Gamecock Insider right after this. Learn about the deadly dangers of prescription drugs and opioids. Help end the epidemic in South Carolina, because painkillers can be just plain killers. Hey! Chuck Norris, can you sign my Tacoma? I'll be glad to. From the fist of a legend rises a new action star, a hero who's there to save the day. So fearless, so rugged, he's tough as Chuck. You replaced me with a truck? Mm. Get 0% APR for 36 months on a new 2019 Toyota Tacoma. That's just 0% APR on the Toyota Tacoma. Toyota, let's go places. 
Win the opportunity to be the next Farm Bureau Insurance fan on the field and witness pregame batting practice from the dugout. Winners will receive two game tickets, pregame field passes, and autographed merchandise from head coach Mark Kingston. Visit uscontest.com to register today. Fan on the Field is brought to you by Farm Bureau Insurance. Get the membership advantage. Join us every week at Wild Wing Cafe for Carolina Calls from 7 to 8 o'clock. Wild Wing Cafe is Columbia's home for hot wings, cold beer, and good times. Tune in to Carolina Calls every week and go to wildwingcafe.com for more information. 2-2. Swing and a miss. He got him. And you can put spurs on this one. It's a Charlotte sweep for the Gamecocks. A win over North Carolina State and now a victory over the 17th ranked Tar Heels in the span of two weeks. South Carolina gets maybe one of its best pitching performances of the season as they harness the Tar Heel batting order holding UNC to only four base hits and defeat the Tar Heels by a final of five to two. That's your Sansbury. Did you see that play? Brett Carey gets the final out via strikeout appropriately enough as South Carolina four hits the North Carolina Tar Heels, the number 17 team in the nation. Time for our Palmetto Health Injury Report as we look at Gamecock baseball right now. Still a lot of injuries being uh, worked upon and dealt with. And certainly among that list, you have to start with pitching. Carmen Majenski's broken foot continues to heal. Looks like it'll be May before Carmen is back on the mound for South Carolina and a whole bunch of arm injuries that are also in the rehab stage. And Kenzie McGuire from Carolina Softball, who had that nasty looking ankle injury just a couple weeks ago, she's still out in rehabbing, and I know Coach Smith hopes to get her back in the lineup sometime in May as well. It's always neat to see Gamecock student athletes out of uniform, and boy, at the Gamecock Gala, we see them dressed to the nines. But it's not just about the attire, it's the awards that are handed out, it's the recognition for great seasons. Earlier this week, we had our cameras there at the Coger Center as the Gamecock student athletes and staff celebrated their annual event. Congratulations to Shannon Williams from Beach Volleyball, winner of the prestigious President's Award. And of course, she was the last 
athlete to ever receive that award directly from outgoing USC President Dr. Harris Pastides. More to get into here on Gamecock Insider. When we come back, we're going to take a look back at one of the all-time greats on the track. Stay with us. Hey, Bob. Frank, how do you get people to watch for the warning signs of heart disease? Yeah, heart disease is the number one killer in the state of South Carolina. You need to go get checked so you know your numbers, then you can lower your risk. Coach, 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 but how do you get people on board? This is a team game. We need to do better, and we will. So go get your blood pressure checked. You too, Bob. <laughs> coach, 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 coach. First one at the job site. Last one to leave. Day in, day out, for the last 42 years straight. Ford F-Series, the model employee. Now get 0% financing for 72 months on a new 2019 F-150. Only at your Carolina Ford dealer. During this year's certified South Carolina grown Palmetto Series, we're promoting Fresh on the Menu, a program that connects South Carolina farmers with area restaurants to bring you meals made with fresh locally grown ingredients. Or try creating your own Fresh on the Menu meals at home. So download the Fresh on the Menu app today and follow your team at palmettoseries.com. It's a matter of taste. And go Gamecocks! This is it. This is the moment when legacies are made and good becomes glorious. But legacies aren't just granted on game day. You can make them anytime. Will it be today or someday? The glory lies in your choice. This is the moment. What will your legacy be? You build legacies, we protect them. Good hard work has earned Sylvia Kinalato the title of Colonial Life Academic Athlete of the Week. A member of the women's tennis team, Kinalato is a junior tourism management major with a 3.741 GPA. This week's academic athlete is brought to you by Colonial Life. Colonial Life, the benefits of good hard work. This week's Terminex Pest Player of the Week is redshirt freshman Cam Tringali from the Gamecock baseball team who picked up a victory last weekend in Gainesville as he has recently moved into the starting rotation for South Carolina. Tringali worked into the seventh inning, only allowed one earned run to the Gators. He leads the Gamecocks in appearances and is second in ERA coming into play this weekend. Ladies and gentlemen, Gentlemen, join us in a round of applause as we retire the jersey of South Carolina legend, Nikki Barker. Welcome back to Gamecock Insider, everybody. I'm Derek Scott. If I were to tell you someone was a 20-time All-American and a five-time NCAA champion, boy, you'd have to imagine that's worthy of having your jersey retired. Certainly that's the case for Mickey Barber, maybe the all-time great in Gamecock women's track and field. She was recently on campus to be recognized, and we've got a great feature to tell you what Mickey Barber's career meant to her and also those who were lucky enough to experience it with her. First time I met Mickey was uh, uh, during the, our recruiting process uh, that she came here to visit, and uh, her sister, of course, they were twins. I remember um, how bubbly and uh, much excitement uh, both of them had. Everything about uh, Mickey, uh, her personality, her drive, her commitment, her dedication and loyalty, all those things walked in the room with her. And uh, she was just a phenomenal person, great to work with, um, and just always ready to go, ready to go and compete. Led by example, well, she wanted to run every race. Uh, and she wanted to win and she wanted to be an Olympian. That was very clear from, from the first day she got here. I want to I make the Olympic team. Mickey is a, a do it and you observe her do it. And, uh, but her will to be successful is really high. Uh, so she led by examples. Um, Mickey was like the leader uh, for the team. 
with the attitude that she's always ready to go. She worked extremely hard, uh, and anything that you ask her to do, she did it. Uh, and it didn't matter how many races she ran. You know, was one of the best in the country. When Mickey got in the blocks, you knew the job was gonna get done. She was fearless. She was absolutely fearless, and that's how she competed every time she stepped foot on the track. So she was just very critical, a critical and important um, part to how our, um, our teams became successful. Without Mickey, um, I would dare say some of those things may not have happened or the success. She's uh, personally uh, just always resilient, uh, very kind person, respectful, um, great in the classroom. Uh, she's everything you would want to recruit and have on your team and, and to go to championships with. I, I don't know if there's anything, you know, that I would have bad to say about her. She was the epitome of student athlete. We are retiring Mickey's jersey because Mickey Barber uh, was the leader and the creator of the plan to win the national championship and then be an Olympian while you're a collegiate. Uh, that's, those, are, those are numbers and things and titles that, that you can't replace. Congratulations to Mickey Barber on her recognition. Terrence Trammell from the men's track and field team also was recognized, and we'll have all the highlights with a feature on Terrence next week here on Gamecock Insider. Now this from My Carolina. My Carolina is giving back to the place that gave me so much. My Carolina is lifelong learning and finding my home. My Carolina fosters opportunities for endless growth. My Carolina is friends, family, and a place to call him. My Carolina is a lifelong connection to my alma mater. Learn about the deadly dangers of prescription drugs and opioids. Help end the epidemic in South Carolina, because painkillers can be just plain killers. Hey! Chuck Norris, can you sign my Tacoma? I'll be glad to. From the fist of a legend rises a new action star, a hero who's there to save the day. So fearless, so rugged, he's tough as Chuck. You replaced me with a truck? Mm. Get 0% APR for 36 months on a new 2019 Toyota Tacoma. That's just 0% APR on the Toyota Tacoma. Toyota, let's go places. Only Verizon was ranked number one by Root Metrics. Number one in three Open Signal Mobile Experience Awards. Number one in video streaming according to Nielsen. And number one in network quality according to JD Power. And that's why the only network to win in all four major awards is the one more people rely on. Choose America's most reliable network and get it on the best device, iPhone. Get iPhone XR on us when you buy the latest iPhone and Apple Music on us too. Gamecock Insider is brought to you by Crescent Construction, the official roofer of the Gamecocks, and by Wild Wing Cafe, where great food rocks. Gamecock Insider is a production of Gamecock Sports Marketing. Gamecock Athletics, we're crossing over sports. Gamecock Volleyball is going to take on men's soccer, and we're going to get the dub. Yeah, you wish. All right, let's get this started. Get up, get up. Yes,
we're doing the bowling. They, we're doing the bowling. The bowling, you know. Uh, Just wait till tomorrow. Wait till L. tomorrow. L. All right, crossover edition two. Volleyball took our lost heart yesterday, but now we're on our own gym, on our own turf, and we're gonna get this dub. No turf here. No turf. I don't see any turf. You're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I still don't understand how they made a point. Like, we did never even play the game against them? Well, they set it up better than we did. I'm honestly gassed. Back to wrap things up on this week's edition of Gamecock Insider. We invite you to join us next week here on the program. As we mentioned earlier, Terrence Trammell had his jersey retired from Inns Track and Field, one of the all-time greats for Carolina, and we'll have a great feature on Terrence. Plus, more highlights from Gamecock Baseball here at Founders Park with a big series with Texas A&M, a top 10 team going on this weekend. Hopefully you'll join us then. Until then, I'm Derek Scott. Thanks for being with us today. This is the Gamecock Insider.